Thanks for tuning into the channel. So today I wanted to make a video about a breakdown on one of the vehicles that I have. I've had a few comments wanting a breakdown, so I hope this is helpful for individuals thinking about doing Toro or even if you're a current host. But before we get into it, I'm gonna ask for a huge favor. Smash the like button, leave some comments down below, and please don't forget to subscribe. Also, I'm gonna put a link down in the description box below of all of everything that I use for Toro that helps me with my fleet. And if you're thinking about doing an LLC or maybe you already have one, I'm gonna put the Chase Inc. business card on there. It's a really great card if you have a business. So I'm gonna put that in the description box below, but let's get into it. So a lot of you, especially the individuals that are thinking about doing Toro, but they haven't started yet, they really want a breakdown. So I wanna give a breakdown of one of the vehicles that I have. The vehicle that I'm gonna use for the example today is gonna to be the 2024 lease on Sentra. Now the numbers this car brings in, you can kind of use it towards the Toyota Corolla because they pretty much, for me at least, bring in about the same amount. Now I do wanna put this out there. These are the numbers that I'm receiving. Someone may get less, someone may get more. But let's get into these numbers. So. My 2023, or sorry, 2024 lease on Sentra out the door was a little over 23,000. My payments for that car for 72 months is about $380. And then at my insurance that I have, which is ABI, American Business Insurance, is, how much does it come out to? About 100 with the tracker. $100 with the tracker, because you have to have the tracker. So you want to add that $100 to the 380, and that brings you up about $480. So that's my monthly expense on the car. That's the car payment and that's the insurance. So what does the car bring in? For me, what I've been getting, it's $900 a month. Now, there are months that I get a little bit less than 900 and there's some months that are busier that bring in over $900. So that's important to know. Month, every month is gonna vary. I'm also very hands-on when it comes to Toro. Some people are not, so that could also affect your income. I check every day the prices. I try to be competitive. I do offer free delivery and I live near an airport. Some hosts don't wanna do the deliveries. I think deliveries, depending where you live, could be really, really beneficial and you'll receive more bookings. So your income will be better. But that depends on your schedule, if you can do it and things like that. So those are things that you're gonna to have to figure out yourself if they'll work out for you. I'm just letting you know what I do and providing a breakdown on the vehicle that I have and the numbers that I'm getting in hopes that you'll find it helpful. Also, don't forget, I always like to do, tell everyone to do this. Use Toro, because I don't know where you live. You may live you know, in Tampa. I'm not sure how well it's gonna do in Tampa or if you live in Miami or wherever you may live. You wanna go on Toro, whatever car you're thinking about putting on the platform, check to see how many are in your area, see what the rates are going, see if those individuals are booking, what are their trips, look in their comments to see if they're recent, check your area, see if they're doing well. But when it comes to an economical car, if you're getting a brand new one, depending of course on your credit, but if you have good credit, you should be under $400. That's at least what I've been getting. That's what I would say you should be at if you're curious. And the economical car should be able to bring in between eight to nine hundred dollars a month. But again, that's what I experienced. It could totally change for you. So I do want to put that out there. But I hope you found this video helpful. I hope um, if you have any questions, you're not shy and you ask me down below, I'll be more than glad to answer. Smash the like button. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget, check out the links below in the description box because everything that I have on there is what I use to run Toro and I think it could be really beneficial to newcomers or even current hosts. Again, thank you for watching.